And the longer that this game goes on, the closer it is, the more it benefits Anderson and Braun. It's like, you know, it's, it's, it's a fringe playoff team playing that number one seed. If you can get into that third and the fourth quarter and keep it close and keep it a one-score game, if you will, anything can happen. A little bit of a pause here. There's a little bit of a gust. Yeah, you might be able to hear the wind. Again, it's about 10 to 12 miles an hour, gusting a little bit higher. Now, we talked about bully bag in previous tournaments. That's what Wooten is going to want to try to do here. He wants to push that bag out of the way so that Braun can't bring it in. Very good, borderline great, because Braun still may be able to get an angle here, but it makes that shot that much tougher for him. Well, Anderson, actually, he said the one in your hand, which means just just throw it in. Don't worry about that bag. We'll settle for a 10-point round. Oh, but that's not what you wanted there. Missed it off the board entirely. Again, Wooten's going to try a bully bag, push it, push bronze bag out of the way a little bit. Doesn't make contact there, but at this point... You're sitting up pretty for five points, so I don't think you're necessarily too worried about bronze bag on the left side there. Wooten and Windsor down 5 nothing after the first round. And now a chance here to take a commanding lead with a big round. Yeah, in for a four-bagger showing plus 10 before the last bag, and he gets it. Sits on that right side. Braun's got to do some work here. It's a, it's a plus 10 Ryan round right now for Noah Wooten and Ryan Windsor. Huge bag here just to try and limit the damage on the way, and he can't get it to go in. A huge round for Noah Wooten. Oh, talk about just a blow there. A nine-point round for Noah Wooten. 